Today we're going to be talking about how we can insert audio inside of 3ds Max. We are going to talk about a couple of different ways and a couple of different ways that 3ds Max handles audio, specifically Pro Audio and Default Audio. So let's go ahead and get started. If I want to install or if I want to insert audio, the first thing I'll do is I'll come down here to my mini curve editor and I'm going to click on that. And then from there, under world, I have sound. I'm going to double click on sound. And here we see pro sound, which is the driver that we're using. And we're going to add audio. Now 3ds Max can handle two different types of files, WAV files and ABI files. I know ABI isn't specifically an audio file. It's a movie file that has audio in it. So we can do that if we want to, but primarily we're going to be looking at WAV files. So I've got some audio here. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm just going to choose a couple. And I did not make these audio files. I don't own them. I don't. The only thing I did was go to the internet to a free website and, and pulled off some WAV files. That's it. Okay, so from here, we can see a couple of different things. We see the length is 32 seconds. Our statistics, we have 44,000 hertz at 16-bit stereo. And this one here, we have 135 seconds and whatnot. Now, also, uh, for both of them, I'm starting at frame zero and ending at frame whatever, whatever it is until it's done. So from there, I'm going to close. And I'm going to close my mini curve editor. And what I'll see if we have our track bar set up down here is I'll see the audio. If you don't see this, then what we can do on our timeline is right click, go to configure. And I like to have all of these checked. So show soundtrack is what we see down here. Okay, now if we screw up our timeline, we can hear the audio. If we play it, we can hear it. We cannot hear it in this one. Okay, so we do have an issue and we can fix that. All right, so if you do have an issue where you can't hear it, we can come, we do hear it here. So let's try one at a time. If this doesn't work, then we might have to change our driver. So let's close, close, and let's see if we can hear it. So we can hear it there. All right, so maybe let's go back in and see if we can add that other one in and see if it will play both of them. If I could go in and do this correctly, add, this other one here, and I'm going to say close and close. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we may not be able to hear it, but these are actually playing over each other. So if I wanted to have background music and then audio of someone opening a door or someone talking, we can do that. But I wanna show how we can kind of change the timing of these. So let's go back in there again, because I forgot. So double click on sound. And then here I'm gonna say that my first one is gonna start at frame zero and end at frame 100. And this second one I'm gonna click on and it's going to start at frame 100 and end at let's say 200 just to be, just so we're not having to listen to this thing the whole time. So I'm gonna say 200. Okay, then I'll close here, close here. Okay, now we'll see that our audio looks a little, a little bit different. And if I come into frame 200 now, we can see how our audio is a lot less. So what I'm going to do is uh, about there and we'll see how it changes. Okay, so we can see how our audio changed from the music to now we have a different kind of music. Okay, so these are some ways that we can insert audio and manipulate audio. But if for some reason it's not playing, there's a couple of things. One, 3ds Max, like I said, we have to bring in WAV files, but it's even more specific than that. See our statistics down here is we have 44,000 Hertz and 16 bit stereo. It can get messed up as if we have um, 32 bit stereo or if we have 24 bit stereo. If something like that happens, or if you go to load in a WAV file and it says that it can't read it or for some reason it just won't do it, what I would suggest is to bring insert that audio into a program like Audacity. And Audacity is free, and you can do a lot of things with Audacity. Bring it in, import it into Audacity, and then save it back out as a 16-bit, 44,000 hertz WAV file. And that might take care of a lot of your problems. If not, if it still just will not play for no matter what, you can you bring it in and it loads it, and you can see your, your sound at the bottom. Then what we can do is we can come to Customize, Preferences, then under preference, 
preference setting and animation, we can change from pro sound to default sound. Now, default sound, if we change to that, we can only have one wave file and we can't specify where we put it. So let me choose default wave and it's going to say, hey, you've got this file. Do you want to use it? Yes. We'll click OK. Now, if I double click on sound, we can see my sound option. All I can do is show the sound. And that's pretty much it. I can't choose how long to play it. I can't choose where to play it. And since I did this, now all the information that I had, if I come back and change this to Pro Audio, will be gone. So animation, I'm going to change this back to Pro Audio. It's going to say, hey, you got one in there. Yes. OK. Now if I double click back on my sound, it only has the one that we had from the default. And everything here is gone about it. So if I want to add that other one back and change my start value, my end, my end frame, so 0 to 100 for the first one. And I'm going to, the playback, I'm going to say leave these at auto and then change my audio quality to high. And then permit save on render, and I'll say I'll do that on high also. Okay. Then I'm going to do that for this one too. This one starts at 100. And it ends at 200. Change this to high and high it already is. All right, close. Now, there is an issue sometimes with 3ds Max where you'll go to render your file, your animation that you did, and you have audio, but it will not render. Okay. Uh, and that is a known issue with 3ds Max. And as far as I know, there's not really a fix for that. You can try uh, saving as a different file type, you know, maybe a .mov or maybe a .avi or, or something like that. But it is a known issue where sometimes it just doesn't render with audio. In that case, if you have just audio that you brought in and you haven't really done anything with it, then you can use a program like Adobe Premiere, where you can bring your video in and your sound in also and sync them that way. So that's something that I would recommend. So we've gone over how we can insert audio, kind of manipulate audio, which version do we want to use, pro audio or default audio. So what I would do is, is you know, if you want to and you have an animation you're working on, try to create the whole soundtrack inside it. I don't know how practical that would be. There's definitely software that's made specifically for that and, and 3ds Max really isn't, but you know, try it, just see if it can happen. If not, then just, you know, it, it's a great tool when you're doing facial animation to uh, sync your facial animation to your audio and create your phonemes and your mouth shapes and whatnot. It's, it's great to do that. So just bring something in and, and, and play around with it and have a lot of fun.